Hi, this is Paul from PicoPros.com and uh, today we're going to do a comparison of the Optoma PK201 Pico Projector LED based uh, DLP technology against the Microvision Show WX. This is the original Microvision Show WX um, that puts out uh, 10 lumens of output uh, using their laser beam scanning technology. The Optoma PK201 uh, puts out 20 lumens. Uh, both of these are battery operated units and we'll see how they compare uh, producing similar sized uh, images. Um, so we'll turn the lights down and we'll come back and we'll take some video and photos of each during uh, different uh, photos and uh, actually I'm, I have a picture of uh, different size fonts so we'll get to see the image quality for different size fonts as well. So I'll turn down the lights and uh, we'll come right back. Thanks. So here we are again. Uh, we're watching the movie Cars with uh, the PK201 from Optoma against the uh, Microvision Show WX, the original Show WX. Um, so uh, I'm looking at both of them um, at similar image sizes. Uh, the aspect ratio is a little bit different for each one. Um, I, I can't seem to get the PK201 in widescreen mode per se, uh, but I'm creating it uh, similar width images. Uh, it's a little tricky, it's not a direct comparison, but um, to create the same width images, um, I have the PK201 at 106 inches from the surface. I have the Show WX at 47 inches from the surface. Um, it seems hard to explain. It seems that the Show WX is a little bit more adaptable to widescreen format than is the PK201. Uh, perhaps I'm doing something wrong, to be honest with you. Don't really know, but at these distances, uh, again, Show WX is 47 inches from the projection surface, PK201 106 inches from the surface. Um, Brightness wise, they're actually not that far off. I, I would say the PK201, don't know how this is showing up in the video, um, at least on my LCD on the video camera, they look pretty similar in person. They look very similar. Um, perhaps the PK201 is slightly brighter, um, but it's not. Um, I'm actually surprised because in my initial, I, I did a quick uh, check a few days ago and I, I thought for sure that the PK201 was going to be much brighter but in this sense the PK201 might be a slightly brighter and it is putting out twice as many lumens as the should OBUX but uh, I'm looking at the LCD right now I'm looking at the uh, projection surface right now the 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 brightness is not that far off from each other they look very similar actually um, I'm, I'm also looking at the colors. The colors are uh, pretty similar, actually. If anything, the Show WX has deeper reds. I'm looking right now at the uh, at the car it has slightly deeper reds. Um, there is noticeable speckle. I'm not going to lie to you. The the Show WX has a some noticeable speckle at a. This would be a 48 inch, roughly diagonal in, image for the Show WX. Again, I'm 47 inches away, so it's 47 inch diagonal because one to one throw ratio. Um, but again, it, it, the brightness isn't that far off, and I'm actually surprised um, because of the fact that the PK201 has 20 ANSI lumens compared to the Show WX's 10 ANSI lumens. Um, PK201 does appear, again, slightly brighter, but not, not significantly brighter. And uh, I'm going to try to take some photographs of this, um, but so far it's comparable at similar image sizes. Again, uh, by similar image size, I mean the width of the image. Diagonally, you know, I can move in the, the PK201. I'll attempt to do that right now uh, just to satisfy everybody's needs here. So let me move in the PK201 until we get similar uh, diagonal length if you will so there you go pk201 i moved it in eh, 
maybe five inches. Let me measure it here. I have a measuring tape here. You'll see a measuring tape perhaps in the film, perhaps you won't. I'm not sure. All right, so there you go. You got roughly 92 inches on the PK201. So we actually moved in a little bit further than I thought. So 92 inches. Uh, you got a similar width of it, or I'm sorry, similar height of image. Uh, again, that didn't make a big change in the brightness, or a noticeable change in the brightness of the PK201. Um, obviously, it's going to be a little bit brighter if you move it a little bit closer, but um, generally speaking, I, I can't tell that the PK201 got perceptibly brighter as I moved it in uh, by 14, M, uh, 14 inches. Um, again, it is slightly brighter than the Shell WX, uh, but not significant. Um, honestly, the, you know, if I had to compare the two, I'd say Shell WX, it's nice to have that widescreen format. Um, the speckle is noticeable if you're looking at it. I, I think if you weren't comparing the two side by side, you wouldn't notice it. Um, Color-wise, again, the deeper reds with Show WX. Um, just trying to observe any differences between the two. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anything other than the deeper reds slight, for the Show WX, slightly brighter for PK201. Uh, but both are uh, pretty, pretty nice images in general. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that at this point. Um, I mean, you can look at the specs for Shoto BX versus PK201. Um, a laser-based image is going to have better contrast ratio, better uh, color representation. I think Shoto BX is greater than 200% of NTSC. Um, not sure what it is for PK201, but I know in general LEDs are probably on the order of 100% uh, NTSC color representation. Um, but I mean, right now I'm looking at it and they're very, very comparable. Um, so, uh, actually, uh, fairly soon we're going to get the show WX plus, which is 50% more lumen output than the show WX original. Um, so it'll be interesting if I could get the timing right, I'll do a comparison of PK201 versus show WX plus and see how that fares compared to each other. Uh, so I'm doing some still images um, between the Show WX original and I'm sorry I can't get the entire image in these uh, photos um, or the video I should say but um, you get partials anyways so Show WX is on the left uh, PK201 on the right um, looking at a black and white photo here of a tree and some water or whatever um, and you can notice on the left, at least on the video, the Show WX looks has a reddish tinge to it. This does not show up in person. Um, if anything, you know, for a black and white photo, the PK201 looks a little more washed out, if I had to say. Um, again, you do notice a little bit of speckle in the white portions of the image on the Show WX side. Um, but for all intents and purposes, they're both very tolerable images. Let me move ahead. Uh, here's some colorful pottery. Um, uh, in the video, I'm looking at the LCD again. The PK201 shows up uh, a decent amount brighter on the LCD. Uh, in person, uh, it also does show up uh, a decent amount brighter, um, but not, you know, not by orders of magnitude or anything like this. Um, they both look really good. Um, so let's move ahead. Actually, I'm going to take a quick picture of this while we're here. Okay, let's move ahead to the next image. All right, so here's a nighttime image of a dock. Um, and again, the colors are, are, are pretty nice in both images. Uh, detail looks pretty good in both. Uh, PK201, slightly brighter again. Uh, again, in the video, it, at least to me, it appears that the PK201 is quite a bit brighter in the video. That's not the case in person. Um, they're much closer 
PK201 is still brighter, but not as much as appears in the video. I don't know if that has to do with the fact that it's laser beam scanning and um, you know the light's only hitting a specific part of the surface for a very finite period of time. Um, whereas with the DLP projector, the lights you know either on or off, and or different different colors of light are either on or off uh, for each pixel. So that could have something to do with the fact that in the video and in the photos, it appears a Show WX is a little bit darker than it appears in person. Uh, but but you know, in general, the PK201 is brighter uh, to produce a similar image size. Um, and then actually, I should be moving the PK201 back a little bit further to get, um, you know, a similar image size. But, I, you know, it doesn't make a big difference in brightness when I move the PK201 back and forth between those 12 inches or whatever it was in terms of brightness. So I'm not going to fiddle with that too much. Uh, so bottom line, at double the lumens, PK201, yes, of course, is a little bit brighter, but not as not as much brighter as uh, one might think. So um, here's another image that I took. A, oh, well, here you go. Pico Pros. There you go. We'll cycle through these. These are the images that I took some photos of. And there you go. So the slideshow is done. We'll do it one more time. Um, oh, there you go. And there you go. So we'll leave it at that. Um, all in all, they're very similar. Uh, if you're going for brightness, PK201 might be up your alley. Um, Show WX has advantages in terms of uh, infinite focus, so no need to focus. Uh, in addition, uh, double the battery life uh, on a single charge. Um, so for standalone units, you know, it all depends on what your uh, what you're going to use the projector for um, show WX if you're you're on the go constantly doing uh, quick presentations that might be your choice PK201 if you're uh, at home more or just uh, stationary and focus doesn't matter as much to you and uh, battery life isn't a big deal and you just can plug it in the wall and leave it there uh, PK201 at least at this point compared to the regular show WX might be a better option uh, especially given the price of the uh, PK201 is um, actually they're about the same price now to be honest with you. Show WX, so they have a special going on $299 and the PK201 is also $299 right now. Uh, generally speaking, you could probably find PK201 a little bit cheaper than that. Uh, $260 something I believe. It's on Amazon or something. But uh, for all intents and purposes, um, they're priced similarly. Uh, PK201 does have it, it, you know additional uh, uh, features such as embedded memory, uh, internal speaker, these kinds of things. But if you're looking solely at image quality, uh, they're both very similar, but it just depends on how you're going to use the projector, which one you would actually buy at this point. Again, we're going to do a review of the Show WX Plus, which is 50% brighter than regular Show WX. And uh, if the timing strikes right, uh, we could try to show that against the PK201. Uh, and see how they compare and see if uh, 15 lumen show WX is uh, similarly bright as a PK201 at 20 lumens uh, given the fact that laser light is perceived 40 to 50 percent brighter by the human eye uh, if, if you go by the Cole Ross Helmholtz uh, effect um, so we'll see how that works out it'll be interesting uh, at least today I'm, I'm actually surprised that the microvision show WX original one uh, showed up as bright as it did because um, uh, I was going into this thinking that it would look a lot more dim and I'm actually impressed that it compared as well as it did. So I'm going to leave it there and uh, we'll edit this and get this up on picopros.com as soon as I can. Again, this is Paul from picopros.com. Uh, feel free to email us, uh, comment on the article, uh, tell us we're doing a great job, tell us we're doing a really, really bad job. I don't care. I, I just want to website to do you know serve you guys better so let us know what we're doing well let us know what we're doing uh not so well uh, until next time uh take care all the best